Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, it's Lauren with Berkeley Farm and we are out here working on the greenhouse garden. Uh, it is Saturday, it's a beautiful day um, and we are getting stuff done. A couple weeks ago, well maybe more like a few weeks ago, I showed y'all um, how we tore down our raised beds out here. <laughs> We're singing over there. Um, I showed y'all how we tore down our raised beds out here and now we're working on getting our uh, rows and walkways measured and ready and we thought we'd walk you through the process. Hey, are you making a well, I was trying to get you singing. Look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, grandma and grandpa are here. <laughs> So we started this project yesterday evening, ran out of daylight, and we're picking it back up today. Um, we're kind of just remeasuring the work we did yesterday. Um, and of course, in true Tyler and Lauren fashion, we have mis mismeasured some things, so we're just going back and fixing it. Um, but the plan out here is 30 inch beds with 18 inch walkways. So we're just staking it off um, so we know where to put our compost amendments and then um, we're going to wood chip the walkways. So just to make that a little easier. I'll tell you over here on this first bed, it's actually 45 inches only because I already have garlic planted down there. You can see that garlic. Um, and I can't pull that up for quite some time. So this is just gonna be a 45 inch bed and then we pick back up with an 18 inch walkway here and 30 inch bed and then we just go all the way down it is also our first day of hardening off plants it took me right at 30 minutes to get all of these out here my back is killing me uh, i'm gonna have to come up with a better system of moving these plants in and out because um, right now i'm just taking one tray at a time and moving them out <laughs> so i need a better system um, all of these plants are not going to be going into my garden. Most of these are for the Bell Urban Farm plant sale coming up in a couple weeks. Um, and then they'll also be for our market garden. And then our, this is, I've been calling this the greenhouse garden, but this is our personal garden space. So these plants are going to be going in three different places. Okay, so we are officially marked off um, for the most part. 30 inch beds with 18 inch walkways is what we got going, except for the, the two end beds. The first end bed is 45 inches, and I think the last one ended up being like 36 <laughs> inches wide. Um, okay, so nine beds total. And then Tyler, how long, how long is this? How long are the rows? 30 foot rows. Nine. Hey y'all, it's another day uh, of working on this um, greenhouse garden space. Uh, you know, ideally we would have gotten it all done in one day, but we've kind of come to terms with the fact that when you have jobs outside of the home and you have young children that, you know, you just do what you can when you can. So this is what we've got, um, all nine rows there. Uh, you can hear the tractor in the background. Tyler is grabbing some compost. We are going to amend the beds with, oh, I don't know, several inches of compost. Um, and then we still have to source out some wood chips. We're kind of trying to find, there's not just a ton of places here in central Arkansas that, that I've been able to find that, uh, where you can get wood chips. So still looking for that. We're going to wood chip the walkways and then here pretty soon we're going to plant. I may even try to sow um, a few flower seeds in here today if we can get all the beds amended. Okay so compost here in the bucket and we're just going to shovel it into the rows. Um, 
don't want to spread it over the whole area just because I feel like that's a waste of the compost uh, if we put it into the walkway. So we're just going to try to shovel it into the rows and we've got some work to do. Okay, so you can see behind me, we uh, got the beds composted. Um, we did run out over here. I was planning to compost right around those tulips, um, but we ran out, so we'll just make do with what we got. Uh, lost my, my partner because he got a little hangry. He went inside to get some lunch. I'm about to do the same thing, and then we're gonna go pick up some wood chips. Found some wood chips locally. Uh, they're not free. Obviously, I would love to get free wood chips. I always hear about people getting free wood chips. I don't know how they do it, uh, but I think they were going to charge us $25 a yard, um, and I think we'll need, I don't know, a few yards, so we'll see. I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but obviously, free wood chips would have been nice. So, anyways, got that going. I'll pan you around here, show you, um, and then... Uh, yeah, we'll I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then I'll show you the wood chip process. We are back with our, I would call it wood chips. It's not really wood chips. Um, it's mulch. Uh, so we got this for $25 a yard and it's basically, they called it gardener's mulch. Um, and it's, it's basically just all of their mulches kind of mixed together. Um, some of their older mulches that have broken down some, they've just basically put them all in a pile and they're selling them as a what they call a gardener's mix um so there is definitely some kind of there's dirt in there which i'm sure it's just mulch that's broken down uh but i think it'll work i mean i think it'll, it's just for the walkways um to keep the weeds down and uh make it look nice so i think it's gonna work and we're gonna fill these all these walkways in all the way down and then put a fence up and we should be good to go okay <laughs> so in full transparency here this is the first uh little bit bit of mulch that we put down and we put it down and quickly realized that it is like infested with i'm 99 sure they're centipedes um so I did a quick Google search on centipedes because we really have not ever dealt with those. Um, and everything I'm reading is saying that millipedes can be pretty devastating to your garden, but centipedes can actually be somewhat beneficial. They're saying that, Google is saying that um, they can actually eat some of the, um, they can eat some of the, the, um, garden pests. So anyways, I don't know. We're, we're going to wait for just a minute. I, I've texted a few people that I trust that know more about gardening than me. Um, so I'm going to wait to hear back from them before I continue spreading down. So we're kind of holding off on that for a minute and that's just being completely honest with you, me and transparent with you. Uh, I said that we would share all of the garden wins and failures. And so right now I'm, I'm really hoping this is not gonna be a failure. We we will see. Um, I'm gonna be really annoyed if we just paid um, for all of that and it's no good. But that would be my fault for not checking it out before we put it on the trailer. So we'll see, I'll, I'll let you know. For now, or while we're waiting to hear back on that, we're gonna start putting those cattle panels up. We're gonna make a little perimeter fence um, to keep the dogs out. We've got quite a few cattle panels and we've got quite a few T-posts. Um, we should have enough to do the perimeter, perimeter of this garden. Um, it is not the long-term solution for a fence out here. It's just what we have for now. I mean, it's free material because it's what we already had. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today is just put a perimeter fence of cattle panels and T-posts around here. Holy cow. 
I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me update you on what is going on. It is about seven o'clock at night now. Uh, we have been working from like, gosh, maybe nine o'clock this morning to seven o'clock tonight. Um, no breaks other than we ate some lunch. Uh, and we are almost done. We are so close to done. We just have to finish the fencing in front. Um, it feels so good. I'm beyond pleased with how this is turning out. I kind of want to update you on couple things I'm gonna turn you around here and just show you check it out y'all I could literally just stand out here all night but I've got I've got other things I got to do um, so yeah I mean it looks way better than I could have imagined I was a little bummed about the cattle panels honestly so we did cattle panel fencing with a t-post um, to help with you know keeping the dogs out and whatnot um, and I was thinking it was gonna look pretty terrible um however I mean it really doesn't look bad and for free you know we had all this stuff so it didn't cost us a dime uh that's awesome I'm I'm just like beyond pleased with that and then the fence or the the gate um this was free as well um other than the bolts to hold on the uh gate to the cedar post there we actually already had the gate that was something that we we used to have a a privacy fence set up out here years ago um, and that was the gate to that we tore it down years ago and we saved the gate thank goodness um, we also had quite a few of the cedar posts just because that's typically what we use when we build fences uh, that's what we use for our corner posts um, so we just use those uh, the reason so that one's up that one's not the reason that one's not is because of course we mismeasured so we're gonna that one's already concreted in we're gonna have to dig it up move it over it is what it is it'll be okay um but other than that everything is done uh we do have to put you know a couple cattle panels up in the front and then here in the front um but other than that it will be ready to go i'm just like so pleased with it i mean it just looks amazing now it, now if it will just grow food uh that'll be awesome so we'll see to be determined on that one it should it should grow food just fine um i did want to update you on the the mulch that we got so I, I said earlier you know we put a couple of scoops in the ground and then all of a sudden we saw like all these what we thought were centipedes coming out of it um i'm glad that i went ahead and contacted my friend sean um just to get his opinion on it turns out they're not centipedes at all they are um hope I'm saying this right, earwigs, uh, which is kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. Um, apparently earwigs will uh, break down wood and, and other organic matter, which is why we're seeing them in the mulch. Uh, they also are really good because they'll eat a lot of the pests in a garden. So like they, they like to eat aphids, so that's awesome. However, they also like to eat vegetable plants and they like to eat cut flowers. So that's not so awesome. Um, we made the decision to go ahead and mulch the rows with this. Um, you know, we went back and forth and uh, did, you know, just did a little research, talked through it with Sean a little bit and decided to go ahead and do this. I am going to uh, purchase some beneficial nematodes. I have used beneficial nematodes in the past and I've actually had really good results with it. Uh, if you've not ever used beneficial nematodes, I would recommend looking into those if you have any sort of pest problem. Um, we have only ever ordered from a company called Nature's Good Guys. Um, so that's probably who I'm going to go with this time around too, because I've, I've only had good results with them. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I'm just letting you know that's who we use. Uh, and we've had really good results. I've, I've also ordered ladybugs from them and, and had really good results with that as well. Um, but there is a specific nematode that you can get for earwigs. And I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's actually quite a long name. And I'll list it in the description below. Um, that's what I'm planning on using. Uh, typically what you do is you get them in a little package, you mix them up in some water and you just spray it. I'm, I'm assuming that's how this is going to go as well. Um, I don't know. I'll let you know if, if it's different, I will let you know. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going with. Hoping and praying that we're not going to see an issue with the earwigs. I, I think we'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, just like 
beyond pleased with how this is turning out. I think it's just going to be so great. Uh, I think we're finally going to get it finished today. It is, um, we're about maybe an hour out from a storm. So we are trying to get things finished up in front of the greenhouse garden. And uh, we are making some serious progress. I'm going to turn you around and show you here. I'm going to be able to grow so much more food in here than I have in the past uh, with my raised beds. I don't know off the top of my head. I don't know the square footage that I had with my raised beds. Um, but this is, this is way more. This is a ton more. Uh, opportunity to grow more food so um, I've already started the process of planning out what's going to be planted and where it's going to be planted and that happens here in um, Arkansas I'm in zone like 7b and our last frost date is towards the end of April and it is April the 7th right now so I mean I may plant a little bit before the last frost date I don't know we'll see I always like to risk it a little bit um but I don't know. We'll see what happens. My tulips are starting to peter out here. And so they'll come up out of the ground pretty soon. Um, and yeah, we're getting it finished up here. Um, and then here we just had a smaller cattle, cattle panel section that um, we left open on one side. So it's just going to essentially be another gate. That way I'll have easy access to the greenhouse.